cause of the martyrs of Cambodia. The good news came to Cambodia in the 16th century. Gradually, the Catholic Church in the country flourished with the guidance of missionaries from abroad, especially Paris Foreign Mission Society. The Church has always been deeply involved in the history of Cambodia, suffering with the people at war or living with them in peace and harmony. In the early 20th century, the Church grew dramatically and the faith of the Catholics was strengthened. There were many initiatives and activities to support Cambodian society in the fields of education, health, and charity. There were also some religious congregations as well as some Khmer priests and religious. In 1970, Cambodia fell into a civil war. A movement inspired by nationalism rose against communist Vietnam and expelled all the Vietnamese from Cambodia. The Catholic Church was much affected by this catastrophe since most of the Catholics in Cambodia were Vietnamese. From 1975 to 1979, Cambodia suffered tremendously in the hands of the democratic Kampuchea regime, the Khmer Rouge, and this period of history is known as Cambodia Year Zero. At least 1.7 million people died from torture, persecution, hunger, and forced labor. The Khmer Rouge abolished all religions, but Catholics remained faithful to their faith, even at the cost of being executed. At that time, most of the Catholics, their bishops, priests, nuns, and catechists died or were killed. Church buildings were also completely destroyed. There are famous episodes of martyrdom in the Catholic Church of Cambodia, especially the life of the first Khmer Bishop, Joseph Chamar Salas, and his companions. The faithful in Cambodia still talk about them and keep the memories of these holy people in their hearts. In 1993, when the Catholic Church opened up to the world again, a few of these witnesses were still around. This time also marked the closing of the last refugee camps and the first national election conducted by the United Nations Transitional Authority for Cambodia. Church life started again little by little. Even though the church had lost many older Catholics who could have been witnesses, the faithful still heard of the stories of these holy people of the Civil War period. The last gun fell silent in 1997 following the bloody conflict between the two powers or the two major political parties. The Cambodian People's Party took over government control. Gradually, peace was restored in the country. In the Jubilee year 2000, by the exhortation of the Holy See, under Pope John Paul II, a memorial day to remember all martyrs in the world was established. The Catholic Church in Cambodia, under Bishop Yves Ramus, declared May 7th each year as the memorial day to honor our presumed martyrs. In February 2018, Prime Minister Hun Sen announced that May 20 be the National Day of Remembrance for the victims and their sufferings 
during the Khmer Rouge genocidal regime from April 17, 1975 to January 6, 1979. At least 1.7 million people are believed to have died from starvation, torture, execution, and forced labor during this period of 3 years, 8 months, and 20 days. Bishop Olivier decided to celebrate the day in Tangkok. Among the victims who were honored this day were the presumed martyrs who loved, suffered, and gave their lives for God and His people. Process of the Martyrs Tribunal In 2011, Bishop Olivier Schmidt-Hausler Apostolic Vicar of Phnom Penh decided to prepare the opening of a Martyrs' Tribunal in Cambodia, which had its first meeting on December 6, 2011 in Phnom Penh. Father Roland Jacques OMI, who is postulator of the cause of the Martyrs of Laos, was invited to share on how to prepare the process. In 2013, Father Ruang Chatsire, TMS, completed his studies in canon law in Rome and also the course Stadium 29 in the year 2013 with the Congregation for the Causes of Saints. He was nominated in 2014 to be postulator and to prepare the process for the cause of the Martyrs of Cambodia. The Tribunal of the Martyrs of Cambodia was officially opened on the occasion of the Memorial Day for the Presumed Martyrs of Cambodia on May 1, 2015. Bishop Olivier Schmidt-Hausler presided over the Solemn Eucharist with the two apostolic prefects of Kompong Cham and Batambong. There were 50 priests and 3,000 faithful in attendance. The grace of God encourages us to keep advancing on the way to the martyrs' future canonization. Kung tutul sa bot ilo kardinal tutul po pa posong Santa Santa Inoro, lo inie sa mday pa François, lo ita sa mday pa So, o yun to mo, brujo, ite chuyo na bebe de or. During 2015-2018, witnesses both lay people and religious were invited to give their testimonies or evidence about all those who at least were already servants of God in the Church of Cambodia. Usually, the Martyrs Tribunal would open every month and is presided over by Bishop Olivier Schmidt-Hausler. The Tribunal is located in the Pastoral Center of the Vicariate of Phnom Penh, Kumchere, Kansensok, Phnom Penh.